Girls, today our first lesson is going to be drawing a jar. So I'm using just a paper and a pencil. You can use this if you have. You can use crayons, markers, or you can use an app on your tablet or Chromebook, uh, paint app or something to do that also if you don't have materials. So I'm going to start the jar. I'm going to go a little bit quick because I don't have a lot of time. So pause if you need to. The top of my jar is a circle, but when you draw it, it's going to appear more of an oval shape. So I'm going to go ahead and sketch out a oval shape on my paper. This is going to be the top of my lid. Next, I'm going to go ahead and make the side of my lid. This is going to be two short vertical lines right at the edge. Okay. Then I'm going to connect them with a line that curves down. This is my lid, or it could be a hockey puck if you want to make a hockey puck. I'm going to add a couple of little lines and grooves for my lid there. Now you're going to make the shape of your jar. Your jar can be straight like this jar. It can curve out. It can be like a heart shape, whatever shape you want. I'm going to make mine a little bit different than this one. I'm going to go out in an angle a little bit right from the bottom of my lid, straight down as tall as I want my jar to be. And then I'm going to go ahead and make the bottom of it connect and it should connect with a curve going down. This is a rounded object. You will never make the bottom of it straight. Now, since it's see-through, we can see in the inside and see the bottom. So I'm going to add a curve that goes up into my jar here. And lastly, I'm just going to add a couple of lines, very light to make some light shining off of my jar. Lastly, I'm going to add the line across my page to show me where the ground is. Do you remember what that line is, boys and girls? The line is the horizon line. Hopefully you got that right. It's going to be light through the jar because it gets blurry through the glass and darker on the outside. Now that I have my jar, I can add whatever I want into my jar. It could be food related. It could be toys. It could be um, memories, it could be flowers, it could be fireflies, it could be a whole different place, maybe a place you wish you could go to right now, anything you want to make in your jar. Sketch it out in pencil and then you can go ahead and color it if you choose. Now for my students, I'm just going to add a flower real quick while I talk. For my students that are in the older grades, feel free to add a little bit of shadows to your pictures. So I'm making mine jar open so I kind of made my flower go through you do not need to make a flower and I'm going to add a little bit of a shadow to the side of my flower and I'm doing this quickly go a little bit slower and take your time but the older kids feel free to add a shadow you could also add a shadow on the side of your jar and you could also add a shadow on the table and feel free to add any other things you want into your picture, up to you. When you finish, if you're able to, I'd love to see them posted on Schoolology. And I hope you guys have fun with this. Add anything you want into it, like I could add like little hearts and stuff, whatever you want into your jar. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye.